and today we're doing a better review than what I normally do. We have the BG Gerber survival bracelet. And yeah, this is a pre it's a Gerber product, of course. And as you see, it's a gray and orange mix. You have your gray out here, your orange up here, and you have your it looks like and then they got the exact same thing but in there uh, and different color pattern inside of the bracelet and it's a cool bracelet when I first got it on Christmas Day since my brother gave it to me because he knew I loved survival stuff and I liked Bear Grylls at the time and yeah it's a an adjustable paracord bracelet and the way you adjust it you can either open it like that or you can always tighten it let me see if I can get this done yeah pinch this guy ah, I can't do it let me use my teeth ah, you pinch him ah and you take the rest of this there's a little band let me show you. Right there. And the whistle goes into there. Get it in there. It's such a pain, but you get the idea. The whistle goes in there. You just put it through. Let me. T I'm going to take this off to do that. You take this, this end, and you pull the whistle through it is really a pain to get done. There you go. And then it's like that and you oh, wrong way. You flip it over. And now it'll now you have yourself a paracord five might be five fifty paracord bracelet with a whistle on it. And if you open it you probably have some shock cord more more cord, yay! <laughs> And I'm going to compare this to one of my bracelets, King Cobra bracelets I made. As you say, she's a camo green with a buckle. I prefer the buckles. And <coughs> let me flatten you. And th this one looks like it's fatter than Mr. Bear Grylls. The Bear Grylls one looks poorly made right here. Looks like from the factory it messed up or something but maybe yours will be better if you choose to buy this and it's a pretty good bracelet if you don't know how to make it you can always get different bracelets they're out on the market so they go into like ten dollars a hundred dollars I've seen a hundred dollars it's a regular paracord bracelet just a metal buckle and just it's an okay bracelet, but not something I'm gonna buy. So, yeah, it's a pretty good bracelet. I'd rate this at like maybe uh, seven. The only flaw problems I have with it, it might not be 550 paracord, and if it's not, I don't like this. I probably will throw it away or something. I won't throw it away, but I'll I'll keep it and maybe display Mr. Bear Grylls because it's this is coming out and it's just really t I, I paid in, well it's cheap price yeah mm, meow <laughs> alright so and this remember that it's kinda poured, poorly made in there and compared to this one it's just I, I like this one more but I wear this every now and then if I don't want to wear any other ones. I just slide this one on, tighten it, and yeah. So it's a pretty good bracelet. So yeah, yeah. Um. All right, guys. That's it for today. I will be doing a not review. Um, I will be showing you the new chicken coop tomorrow morning. So, alright guys, this is Ethan M. signing off.
I'll see you guys on my next video. See you guys.